Today I'm going to share with you how to make an ostomy bag cover. I've recently learnt that there are quite a few different shapes of ostomy bags, so though you can buy covers, you might want to make them the right size for the bag. So I'm going to start off by creating a template. I've got two pencils. I'm going to just trace around the bag. I'm not so worried about the um, pencil closest to the bag. It's the outer pencil that I want the um, line for. This is going to be our finished bag size. So we're going to add seam allowance to it. Now this bag's got a drain here, so I'm going to cover that. Should have taped the pencils together first, it would have been a bit easier. Right, so that's the beginning of the bag template. Now we do need a circle for this piece to go through. This is my first template, so you need to cut out a circle. Now mine, I've used a mug. It is a starting point for working out the circle size, to be honest. So there's the beginning of my paper template. So. I'm going to cut out my circle. This is too big. It's going to make it a ooh, five eighths of an inch smaller, centimetre smaller all round. And this outer line is my stitch line. I want a little bit of capacity in the fabric cover to expand as the bag fills. So let's cut this out. This is one I've done earlier. So here's my template. I folded some very lightweight thin fabric into thirds so that I can cut out three at once. Now the reason I've gone for lightweight is that you don't want to be carrying extra bulk around if you don't need to. So this is a cotton type fabric so that's going to be comfortable against the skin. So remember you've got to add your seam allowance in as you go around. I'm going to cut three out. There's three. Right. Number one. We're going to set aside for the front of the bag. So set that aside. Number two. We're going to cut a circle out in the middle. Now remember this, my experience is that this circle is a little bit too big. You may wish to experiment with some scraps of fabric so you get the circular opening the right size. I was surprised that it was so much smaller than I anticipated. So it's worth playing around with. The circle needs to be big enough to go over the opening, but not too big. All right, let me just make that a little bit bigger there. Right, so this is for the back of the bag. And it's for this flap to go through. So let me just check that that works. And I haven't got it too small. There we go. So this is the side facing the skin. Right. And we're going to create a flap here so that you can get to the drain. So we need to allow some seam allowance. Right, so that's pattern piece number two. Now number three. There's number two. So we're creating a flap here. So this number three is a 
overlap. So I'm going to go for a couple of inch overlap because we've got to hem it. That should give us an inch, an inch and a half. So here you have your three completed pattern pieces. Front, and this is the back with the overlapping flap. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to either zigzag or overlock these two edges, turn them over and uh, top stitch them down to give a nice neat edge. This is the wrong side and this is the front side. I've overlocked, pressed and top stitched. There we go. So the next step is to put bias binding around our circle to neaten this raw edge. Let's pin our bias binding. I'm going to fold it in half over the raw edge and pin round. So again I've gone for a very soft, lightweight bias binding. It doesn't particularly go, but that doesn't matter because it's going to be against the skin. No one's going to see it. I wanted something that was just really comfortable for the person who's going to be using it. So just keep pinning all the way around the opening. Once you've pinned it, you're going to top stitch it to secure. These bags really don't take very long to make at all. Once you've got your prototype and you know you've got your sizes right, um, they're really quick and easy to do. So I'm going to keep my template for my friend and then if she needs some more in future, I can make them. I have to admit I've had great fun thinking about different types of fabrics you could use, whether it would be a you know, sassy um, kind of piece of fabric or you want something a little bit sexier or something neutral. Right, so there we go. There's our pinned bias binding. I'm going to top stitch that to secure now. Right, we've top stitched and pressed. Now we're going to put the bag together. So this is the right side of my fabric. This is the right side. So let's put those together, right sides together. And the bottom piece, right sides together. And let's just pin around to hold those in place. Now, I'm fortunate in that I have an overlocker, so I'm just going to overlock all the way around these edges um, and that'll be it, done. If you don't have an overlocker, what I suggest you do is machine stitch round and then either cover your raw edges in bias binding or zigzag your raw edges. Personally, I think I'd go for zigzag just to keep it nice and light and reduce the waste, the weight of the finished bag. So here we have it, one finished bag. This is the wrong side, I'm going to turn it the right side out. And then check that the actual ostomy bag itself fits inside the cover I've made for it. I imagine it will because this is I think the there we go. So you can see how the circle's important, it's a little bit there we go. One finished Austrian bag cover. And you can make them whatever fabrics you like, have fun. This has got a little bit of giving it, this enables the bag to fill. Obviously you might want it a little bit tighter, the choice is yours. I have made one out of a shower curtain because my friend was saying that she finds showering quite tricky with the bag on and the bag itself gets wet and then getting the bag dry. So we're going to try out a shower curtain Austria bag cover and see if that helps the showering process for her. 
So have fun. Make them in as many different wild, wacky fabrics as you like. They certainly um, should make a difference, my friend was talking about. <laughs>